Hey everybody, Vic here, and this is a follow-up video to my original video, which was a much longer video on how the spreadsheet actually works. My favorite spreadsheet here called My Budget. I created it, I keep it on an Excel spreadsheet, but what I did to share it with you is I have it here in a Google Sheets, which is free to everyone with the Google account to have a Google Sheets uh, access. So if you look at it here right now it says view only now if you look down below in the description of this video i put a link to this actual spreadsheet when you click on that link it's going to open up the spreadsheet it's going to show view only and once you have it open up you're going to go over here where it says budget on the down tab you're going to click on that and you're going to say copy to new spreadsheet okay it's going to go ahead and copy it over don't click ok keep an eye on the upper left hand tab here we're going to click open spreadsheet and you see it opened up the tab now this is your copy feel free 100 percent to copy and use this google sheets i created it for you the only thing is you can't sell it or anything like that okay it's for your own personal use now what you're going to do is if, as i explained in my original video you're only going to fill in the yellow here and then these columns f and g are going to populate and break down if you've got a yearly expense as you see here I broke it down to yearly it's only yellow in the yearly column because you're only going to fill in wherever you see yellow if you have something to put in there we have a monthly column and we have weekly and then we have daily and then we have the same thing for your income where if you get paid weekly bi-weekly monthly bi-monthly or monthly okay so let's go ahead and start you're going to watch these figures automatically populate based on it so most of you guys don't pay real estate taxes unless you paid off your mortgage your home insurance it's all included within your mortgage so let's just say the majority of you you have all of that included within your rent or your mortgage whether it's renters insurance or homeowners stuff like that so you don't really need so what's another yearly expense let's say you got car registration they car uh, at least in new york i think it's every two years let's say in your state it's it's once a year so remember this is your spreadsheet put in what you need here and i'm going to change it to car registration because it matches what you need and let's say car registration is about 150 dollars a year you're going to see it's going to break it down into that's 1250 a month or 150 a year it's good to know what the monthly expenses are because that's going to help you budget later on so you, your home insurance is already included in your mortgage so you don't need to put anything there let's say your mortgage total which includes your real estate and your homeowner's insurance and your rent to your mortgage is thirty four hundred dollars a month okay and these two figures auto automatically populate and here you have forty thousand dollars a year let's go through this quick so i can give you more of a synopsis later on so your car insurance 240 dollars a month your electric if you're already not on a budget with your electric company tell them you want to be on balanced billing which they take your average and they spread it across this way in the summer when you're using much more air conditioning it's balanced out where it's less in the winter let's say it's about 110 dollars a month same thing with your heating where your heating might be huge in the winter especially if you're up north and less in the summer so put on, on a balanced budget let's say it's about 160 uh, a month Two could be, I don't know, maybe you smoke. Cigarettes up in New York is I think like $19 or $20 a pack. Let's say you're doing a pack and a half a day. That's $30 a day in cigarettes. So um, this is a weekly expense. So let's move that down here. We're going to jump on down to miscellaneous daily expense. And you're doing about $30 a day, pack and a half a day of cigarettes. And you're going to see it's going to populate. That's $910 a month, $10,000 a year in smoking. Okay, let's say. All of your expenses and it tallied it up into a monthly, you're spending $7,000 a month in surviving in these expenses. I didn't put in like a rainy day fund. I didn't put in like, your, you know, you, you need brakes, you need tires for your car, your refrigerator brakes, with a, you know, clothing and any of that stuff, vacations. So this is all bare bones minimum. Fill it out later, you could add, and you can even insert a line in here and it should populate the formula. If not, the formulas coincide here with what can go in there and you could just copy the formula in. So 
um, let's just say on uh, so what you're saying now is just uh, look you have $84,000 a year in expenses. Now, here's the forecasted debt. So right now, it shows that you're in $84,000 a year in debt. Wait, we didn't add our income in. Once you add your income in, it's going to minus, take this figure, minus that, and that's how it comes up with this figure. But you see, it's minus. So right now, you're in debt. So let's just say, hey, Vic, you know what? I'm very fortunate. I make $104,000 a year at my job. It's $2,000 a week. Okay, so $104,000 a year. So I'll have enough to pay my expenses. No, you won't because your gross income, which is very gross, has to fall through that net. And what gets stuck in the net is your FICA, your Social Security, your uh, state, your federal income tax. All those things come out. And what you end up with is net pay. So let's just say you get paid weekly. And you say, yeah, Vic, I get paid very weekly. No, 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 not W-E-A-K, but weekly, like W-E-E-K. So let's say you're getting paid weekly. You're making $2,000 a week. You're probably coming home with about $1,250 after it falls through the net. That's not even contributing to your 401k. That's just your taxes and social security and all that stuff. So you see with $2,000 a week, which is $104,000 a year, you're coming home with $65,000 in spendable income. You're falling into debt at the rate of $19,000 per year. So if you say, man, I'm looking back and says, you know, I look back here in the last three years, I'm in thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in debt. That's shown right here. This is the beauty of the spreadsheet now. What you can do is you could start tweaking. Let's just say, you know what? I've always wanted to quit smoking. I'm gonna quit smoking. I'm gonna do less. So instead of a pack and a half, I think I could get myself down to a half a pack of cigarettes a day. So your daily spending now is gonna be ten dollars a day as opposed to 30 and this is going to populate boom and now you see oh you're only twelve thousand dollars in debt per year as opposed to the 19 so let's just say you, you get a second job or your significant other is working let's just say your significant other is making about fifty two thousand dollars a year okay and uh or your second job is fifty two thousand dollars a year and you're getting paid bi-weekly every two weeks so fifty two thousand years a thousand dollars a week bi-weekly is going to be two thousand uh, dollars a paycheck so it's going to be about the same 1250 you're going to come home with except instead of coming home with 1250 a week you're coming home with 1250 every two weeks you hit enter and bam you are now $20,000 above, okay, you are now $1,679 ahead of the game where you should be saving money. But of course, it didn't, we didn't include your food, budget, shoes, and your car maintenance and all of that stuff, but you're still ahead of the game. So now you can go back to smoking if you want, <laughs> but hopefully you don't. But this is how the spreadsheet works. This spreadsheet will help you. Like maybe at that point, maybe what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your, um, uh, you're, maybe you're going to drop one of those cable premium TV subscriptions. So instead of paying the $150 a month, you're going to knock yourself down to about $110 a month because you knocked off a couple of premium subscriptions. So we hit enter. We see that populates. Let's scroll back down. And now we see that we're $1,700 ahead of the game you know maybe you want to quit smoking altogether so you knock that out you're gonna replace it with like a, a bag of, of chips or a bag of uh, pumpkin seeds you know so that could cost you like instead of three dollars a day you know and you're healthier and the wiser for that now you see that you're nineteen hundred dollars a month ahead that you could be saving putting in for your rainy day funds paying for your clothes your kids clothes or whatever so that's the whole um, idea about how this budget works it will give you a visual display it will allow you to modify your spending behavior right on the spot and show you uh, the result of your modified spending or or show to you where you may want to target your spending habits so with that I hope it helps uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, comment as far as what you would like to see more in the spreadsheet or other types of videos and I'll see you in the next one